Hello YouTube, Sarah here, um, I am an INFP and a highly sensitive person so I, I really wanted to talk about and what will get something off my mind really and that is how um, stress, well what role stress plays in my life and I mean I am very easily affected by stress because I don't like to talk about my feelings to people, I stay away from conflict and um, yeah so let's get started I've wrote a list you really didn't really need to know that um, but normally what happens in my videos when I try and make videos is sort of like uh, uh, as I just found out so I'm really gonna concentrate on this list so um, so sometimes I'm not really sure of what's bothering me um, so I could be feeling stressed I could be having all sort of symptoms that I would get from stress and I uh, didn't really know what actually was bothering me because um, there could be several things and when something's bothering you and you get other things bothering you so for example something at work could be bothering you and um, you could you couldn't be fit you, you know you might not be feeling well and um, I don't know something could be not right in your relationship, something could be not be right with your friends. I mean, these are just examples. These aren't um, what's happened. What's happened to me and such. Um, so you could have all those things going on, and you're like, you can't pinpoint which one of them is bothering you and causing the stress, because everything else just seems to add to the stress and make it worse. Um, and then the other thing is obviously f fixing, <laughs> fixing it. So. Um, Hmm. Like I don't know personally. I'm sort of, I'm like, I don't know what to do, and I keep, I'm getting this like um, pattern of negative thinking, and I don't know what to do, and I'm continuously thinking, you know, digging myself lower and lower. Um, yeah. And um, that negative, that negative thinking brings on anxiety for me and um depressive thinking really and yeah it's not it's it's not it's not nice yeah, so as i said i don't like to talk about my feelings to people and i've given some thought about why i don't like to talk to them about it um i just kind of think no one would be interested to know <laughs> about how i'm feeling i mean and it probably make me feel selfish to talk you know talking about my feelings because what do they matter to anybody else and um, but ultimately it does make you feel better um, but I kind of thought I think many of us who have the same personality type probably agree that they'd rather suffer inside themselves because this is how it feels sometimes I feel like I'm suffering inside myself rather than saying how I feel about people or how you know I don't want to make them upset I don't want them to feel like I do you know I would if someone was sort of nasty to me or said something to me so I kind of relate it to how I would feel and I assume that's how they'd feel although I know everybody's completely different <laughs> now um, I'm kind of I'm getting a, I'm getting a bit better about speaking about my feelings um, I spoke to somebody at work about um, an an issue that I was having and since then since that date I mean I was so frustrated I just ended up just saying something um because of that things have been improving greatly <clears throat> and yeah so I'm so glad I did that so when things are gonna well some things I can't say so I just feel like if I say them, they're going to be sort of, you know, like what, <laughs> and get upset. And, um, so I just really don't want to make people upset. Mm. That's pretty much all my list covered. So, um, maybe I should think of an example. Um, Okay, my nan has been suffering 
from cancer kind of on and off a bladder cancer for um, a few years now and it's not something I really tell people with. You know, only my closest friends and my partner and family obviously know about it so I don't like to I don't like to I don't like to talk about really private things to people so and um, I I used to be in therapy, I'm not in therapy anymore, so I, I went to see my therapist and um, I was upset and I was crying and I was sort of thinking it had something to do with my physical health. Um, I get a lot of bladder problems, I get stomach problems and I was bringing these up and I was saying how I cause them, they're my fault and I was getting really upset about them and um, I didn't cry because I had I didn't want to cry in front of her. I mean, I did eventually, but this, you know, this time I just, I didn't want to, so I was trying to hold, hold it all in, as well as sort of explain all these things to her. Then I got onto my nan, and then she highlighted that, you know, this is what's bothering you, and I don't know how she saw it, but she did, and I mean, I didn't have a clue that that was bothering me so much that all these other things on top of it um seemed awful and they seemed like the issue rather than the other it's like i was pushing that issue down and um i guess it's a whole negative thinking kind of spiraled up out at me and yeah so i'm trying to i guess i'm trying to figure out you know the causes of the stress and um trying to do something about that which helps the most, I guess. But when I feel stress, I sort of I tell you some of the sort of the symptoms I guess I get because I get physical symptoms. I mean, I do have anxiety issues, but when I'm stressed, I get my bladder plays up. It kind of goes inflamed. I don't really know what's wrong with it. Um, I haven't I have an idea? But every time I go to the doctors, they sort of give me a a test, and they're like, "Oh no, we'll give you antibiotics," but even though it's clear that you can't actually find anything in it so I don't I don't really know um, I, I don't like speaking up I mean I did last time I guess we'll go again but I've been so many times to the doctors I hate going to the doctors and um, I have a stomach problem um, and it's basically sort of like acid reflux I think it might be a bit gastritis I don't know because I never had the um, endoscope I, I couldn't go through but um, Yeah, I have that, and it plays up if I drink alcohol or some kind of acidy drink, or if I eat spicy food, rich foods like tomatoes, really fatty, greasy foods, unhealthy foods, and um, quite a few things really play up, and it's always aggravated by stress. Um, and I guess with stress, a lot of people get the nausea um, or stomach aches, and I do get them but I also get the acid reflux or the stomach pain um, it's, not, it's not nice and often when I'm stressed I focus on those two things and think that's what the cause of my stress is and it makes it a whole lot worse when normally I could sort of not let it bother me so much and the other thing is um, obviously the anxiety so often when I'm stressed I get I get well I get very down I get emotional I feel very tense um, so I end up burning more energy I guess I end up with aching muscles um, sometimes I shake sometimes my heart beats really fast sometimes I get dizzy but I kind of know now I'm out of um, I don't get panic attacks well I suppose I haven't really had any since I've been through therapy um, I do want to make a video about all of that stuff but it's, it's kind of hard to talk about and I don't know if it's worthwhile talking about and mm. so I made one on my other channel but I ended up deleting it um, anyway yeah so I get the um, anxiety symptoms and um, yeah because I've, because I've been in therapy and I've learned about it 
I mean, I've been in CBT and I went to see a private therapist, which was the best decision I ever made um, in regards to my health and um, well, my mental health, should I say. Um, so it's kind of made me realise that when these symptoms are happening, happening, I'm aggravating them more. Um, so when I'm stressed and I'm sort of maybe I start shaking and then my heart beats faster and I feel dizzy. So they happen one after each other. So I can I recognise that I'm like, hang on a second, you're making it worse. This is just stress. This is just anxiety. I can kind of bring it back. Um, sort of like a skill I guess I've um, learned over time but yeah so please 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 let me know um, how stress affects you and how maybe how you deal with it I mean one thing for me is um, health and exercise and sleep so if I haven't had enough sleep if I haven't been eating properly and I haven't been exercising I find it I find that stress affects me a lot more um, but when I'm doing these things, I find after a while I'll be feeling um, kind of, I don't want to say lazy, but like it's, I'm putting a lot of effort, a lot of effort into trying to make myself feel happy and well. And I just don't think it should be that hard sometimes, so I just sort of lose track and maybe something will happen or I'll get ill or... Um, something stressful will be coming up and I'll just give it all up and I'll just eat bad and then if I'm feeling a little bit stressed anyway obviously it's going to make it a lot worse so um, that's something I really find hard to keep track on but I'm re but at the same time I really try I went you know but when I'm feeling stressful it's kind of hard to get myself to do it I guess I just want to sort of indulge and uh, make myself feel better and comfortable and safe um, but yeah, so, um, so I think that's everything covered that I wanted to talk about. So, um, thanks for watching. Bye!